Hello everybody, it's Mike again, back at IntelliHot. We're going to go through and show you how to change out some O-rings. Uh, basically, we've already stopped the, the fuel and shut off our inlet and outlet water, unplugged it, trying to make it a little easier. Um, took our six screws out of the cabinet just so we can open it up. I, I did put a hinge on mine so we can make it a little faster for the class. I've got a few little rags here. I'm going to just lay them down in the bottom, just try to soak up any water so I don't have a mess like that. Basically I've got a bucket where we can try to catch what water's in here. It's obviously going to stop at our isolation valves and then I want to uh, remind you wear you some gloves messing with these ends of these pipes. It is 304 stainless very sharp. It will cut you. As far as the o-ring kit more than likely if you're having to put in an o-ring due to leaking replace all of them because they're all getting the same wear and tear from the water and the, the chemicals in the water and things of that nature so when you order a kit they give you all the seals and basically when you take a seal out you can see I've laid them out you can pull this put the seal over top of the hole and you'll be able to line it up and that perspective diameter of the ring will line up with that one find your new one do the same thing or you can look in your I.O. manual if you have it and coincide with those part numbers and it'll tell you which one it is matched up to that again. However you feel you need to do it. We're going to start at the bottom and drain this thing down. A um, couple things I did pick up is some industrial um, lube here to be able to um, put it on our seals and also the little pick there so we don't puncture a hole in the seal we can slide those things out pretty easy to keep from damaging the new ones but let's get started and draining the heater here just take just a minute I've already let my pressure off of the system so we wouldn't get soaked I'm just going to put this up here and try to catch as much water as I can still got a little bit of water in it just gonna lay that one out there in there not a lot of pressure if you forget to turn the water off You'll be cool. I actually shut my water off to the whole building. So. As far as the O-ring itself, we can show you right here pretty much. You see this one has three different ones. If you look at the exploded view in the back of the manual, it's going to tell you what ring that, that you need to have to put it on there. We want to replace our ring. Just going to do this right here for just a minute. Got my little pick here. It's hard to get your fingers in there in any other way. So see how I rolled that in there? Take it right back out. I'm gonna lay it up here on the, the manual or the, the paperwork that come with the O-ring kit. And you can see that is that number 015. And they sent us one, two, three, four, five of them. Okay, or actually six of them, I'm sorry. Let me go there. All right, so this is our old one. I'm going to verify that I had the right one, so I'll make sure I didn't put the wrong one in the wrong spot. And it does say they sent six, and that one is the match for that. Pretty close right there. All right, so basically we're going to do this three times. I'm going to put a little bit of this lubricant on my hand, kind of get it started on the O-ring. My gloves are really clean. I don't. I'm not using the old gloves that I just worked at Miss Jones's house working on her septic tank to work on this. So remember to uh, have the right tools for the right job. Gloves are more important than just about anything. Okay, I'm not replacing all the seals. I just showed you the one right there. Basically, we're gonna line this back up and that lube is a must for you're gonna tear every one of those seals up, okay? If you remember, I pushed this downward. I'm going to flip it right back up in the same direction that it come out. All right, as far as that goes, I got a little bit of water in here. It wasn't too bad. 
nothing that my little towel couldn't take care of. And you know how to fill it up, start them up, turn your fuel on, plug it in, and you've, you've repaired their leaks, if that were to be the case. If you ever have any questions about anything, please feel free to call the IntelliHot factory. The guys and girls there are more than happy to help you. And uh, thank you and you have a good day.